A hook allows the listeners, the viewers, the audience, your students to understand why should they listen and watch your video. For my students, I always say like, this is exam relevant. And then everyone is like, wow, I want to listen to this. So my students love it. Edit for clarity, because your audience, your viewers, your students deserve crisp and well-cut, well-produced episodes of your wisdom in the sense of why they should listen to that. Because social media can teach us to cr create good hooks, right? I use Descript and also the AI tools a lot. So I'm a happy customer, also an affiliate partner, and I love to demo for you. You are maybe wondering, how did I get the clips? Well, I edited it for clarity, remember? So now I'll show you a short sequence of a seven minute or so video where I was rambling on that was actually the basis for the two clips that I showed you before. You'll be very happy that Descript AI has already transcribed all the seven minutes that I've been rambling on and on and on. So in the next video, I'll show you how it looks like as a result. Okay. So again, a seven minute video rambling on transcribed. So time lapse. All right. So now uh, you can find me here. I did a screen recording, obviously, from what I have been producing now. You can see this 7.30, seven minutes, something like, and it had been transcribed in like two or three minutes or so. I think that the transcription is well, which is not a surprise because I'm a heavy Descript user and for 95% of my um, recordings, even for my name, etc. Um, most of that, that really is, I can, I can take it as is, and then I could also remove the arms and the whatever. So there's also wordless media in there. So that's the dots and so on. So I could, I could cut that out. Okay. So, but I don't want to do this, but instead I now want to sort of like look at it from clarity point of views, right? Like I said, my audience, my students in real life, the Bachelor and Master students of Industrial and Occupational Psychology, but also my postdoc transformers, the scientists leaping into business, and also the managing directors, the senior key decision makers, whoever, who may think of, do I want to sort of like invest in sponsored ads for my show, right? So they deserve that I cut my best edits into one so that it's more clear clear, clear. Okay. So that again would be something that I would have to pass that I would have to cut and paste and together into a better version because I'm obviously, I am from Germany. So not obviously, but I am from Germany. So English is my second language. And that means editing for clarity is really a, ha is really a handy feature. Okay, good. Now let's say I want to edit this for clarity. I go to actions. So this is the actions bar and I see AI actions, right? So I can do click on it and check for edit for clarity. Okay. So that's the third bar from here. So again, I go to AI actions, which is here. Then I go to ask AI. It's an AI action. So I ask AI and then I go for edit for clarity. Okay, good. And then I say, um, edit this down to remove any speech disfluencies, um, repeated sections and tangents that distract from the core ideas. And I'll be very surprised to have it not cut it down from seven minutes to hopefully a lot shorter. And then let's see how that works. I have to highlight this and then add it for clarity and then do this. Now AI is thinking fine. So now, um, let's, let's see. Hi, my name is Anna Sue Winkers. All right. So have you ever started a video? Blah, blah, blah. Lost your train of thought. That sounds like me. 
I'll get the light of it anyway, and, uh, and I hope that this is much shorter, I don't know. Well, let's see, it looks very long. But, oh, okay, now you, you can see the strike throughs. Okay, so that means that was probably when I was starting and thinking and had to restart again. Okay, obviously, usually there are some strike those you have two options right you can choose to delete the strikeouts and then you have sort of like jump cuts maybe or final cuts and that is also okay but you could also even record it again based on the edited script so you have two options right okay so i want to i want to have both so copy edits to new compositions so that means that i have the first version where I was rambling on and then I have a second composition where I can play around to that with that right so I copy the, that and again I'll have um, AI edits and then okay so the demo edit for clarity demo that's the main topic and then I did some AI edits okay so let's see that. So that's seven, the original was seven minutes and 34, and the AI edits were like six, 37. So depending on how well I was doing, the less edits need to be made. I would say that my rambling on was very atypical, and I would honestly under expected I would have expected a shorter edit at the end of the day but let's see maybe the second one the 637 is really brilliant let's see okay um, I cannot listen at the moment because obviously I'm recording so I don't want to listen at the moment but I can read through that okay okay so most I hit the most important things Okay, you know, all the you knows are w away. So I always say so, comma, and this is, this is, mm -hmm. okay. To introduce your guests or whatever, so let's try another. Okay, so this is where I'm saying that's great, okay? So because I started to sidetrack and to recommend another AI feature, and maybe that is distracting and not helpful for my audience so the AI picked up that I was sidetracking or started to sidetrack and took that out or strike that out okay that's great and then I want to demo that for you at the end of the day blah 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 so here again that's great to take it out I would have taken it out also if I had edited for clarity manually so that's great and I think that's good to go, almost. I mean, this is not, I'm sorry, this is not a robot for in front of the camera. Okay. Yeah, why not? That's just for demo purposes. And obviously, if you have real content that you are preparing and stuff like that, then it will be helpful for being edited for clarity. So now I have two options, really. I could use that and re-record over on the on top of that so to like um i can i can re-record it based on what i'm seeing so everything that had been striked out i could re-read that again what i don't really like um, i just edit that out and i think that's a great first attempt to go through your one hour two hour interview which i actually do i have one hour interviews which i edit down to a 30 minute 40 minute episode and then i insert also some other stuff like ads or other information or whatever so that would help me to go through the raw content much faster and i could you know drink a coffee or whatever do whatever play with my kids or whatever it is right so I would say that this is a really handy feature and I would love for you to use Descript and the AI feature edit for clarity and then you can 
obviously have some suggestions, strike throughs that you can use for editing for clarity. And then you can choose to either re-record or even use a stock speaker that someone at um, Descript has um, employed to sort of like record on, in your own voice or in their own voice. But you could also have um, a clone of your voice. So that's another AI action so that you can train your own voice clone, so to speak. So I did this. I don't really like this at the moment. So I actually do like to be human on my podcast, but I can see myself being sick for a couple of days or weeks. And that's when I would edit my podcast. And sometimes I have to edit also my own takes because I hear an echo in my guest's videos or audios so i have to record that but if my voice isn't good then a voice clone is good enough okay i did this a couple of times and i think it's good enough it's better if even especially if i have time pressure or so so this is great for for like sort of like as a workaround you could also have a um, an ai speaker um, like I said, it's it's um, it's an option that you can have in Descript. So there are a lot of AI features that you can use. And I really do think that the Edit for Clarity is a great start for you to use AI features on your own show, on your podcast, or also on your lectures. Okay, so I hope that this uh, episode or this, this AI edits from Edit for Clarity Descript demo will help you to do the same for you. And if you have any questions, let me know. I'm an affiliate partner. I can also share my Descript link with you so that you have perks for your first attempt to sort of like edit for clarity because that really is a great future. Great feature for all lecturers. I guess that you agree with me. Only if you're really interested in editing for clarity, you would have gone through all the things that I have just shared for seven minutes, right? So yes, obviously I shared a couple of things that were really interesting and also very helpful in the long run. But at the end of the day, you are probably grateful that I have cut out two clips that I have shared before. Right. I assume now that you understand that the two social clips that I created were much better than the whole rambling on that I have just shared with you. A hook allows the listeners, the viewers, the audience, your students to understand why should they listen and watch your video. For my students, I always say like, this is exam relevant. And then everyone is like, wow, I want to listen to this. So my students love it. Edit for clarity. Because your audience, your viewers, your students deserve crisp and well-cut, well-produced episodes of your wisdom in the sense of why they should listen to that. Because social media can teach us to cr create good hooks, right? I use Descript and also the AI tools a lot. So I'm a happy customer, also an affiliate partner, and I love to demo for you my name is Elna Sue Winkles and I'm a professor for industrial and occupational psychology. I'm a host and producer of the Postdoc Transformation Show, the show for scientists leaping into business. And in that capacity, I use Descript and the AI tools a lot.